Hello guys, Ben Deacon here, and today we're gonna change the tires, which means we're gonna put the new Ultimate Tubeless Setup Kit to the test. Let's do it. Okay, so first step, we're obviously gonna take the old wheels out and take the tires off. The easiest way to remove air out of the tire is with the core removal tool that comes with the tubeless valve kit. Just take the old stuff off. So before applying the new tape, we're gonna use the glue and sealant remover, give that a healthy dose all the way around the rim. So we've left the glue and sealant remover on for five to 10 minutes. Now we're just gonna agitate it. As you can see, one minute later, I've now finished giving it a spruce up around this lovely rim. We're now ready to install the new rim tape. So in the kit, we get some lovely rim tape. We get two sealant pouches. We get some tubeless valves and we get a sticker to go over the rim tape where the join is. Let's do it. Okay, so I've got the rim tape. I'm gonna start just beyond the rim hole. I'm then gonna go all the way around and then come just beyond it as well. So therefore we're double protected. And then how we can finish it off is with one of these stickers that just makes sure that the, the end bit doesn't flap up. Okay, so we've done a whole circle and a half. We're gonna cut it at a 45 degree angle, or there or thereabouts. Just make sure it's nice and tight and in place. Just go around once, making sure it's all nice and tight to the rim. So once we've put all the rim tape on, we're gonna use one of these stickers, and it is designed to stop the rim tape from flapping around. So we find the join, our sticker in and that is going to help prevent it doing its thing. So once we've applied the rim tape we're just going to locate where the rim hole is and just put a little hole through and then we've got our new tubeless valves that do come within the pack. Putting the fresh rubber on. There you go, so that's the tyre popped onto the bead. So next step, obviously putting the sealant in. Have a look on the instructions on the back to tell you how much you need for your particular tyre. These are downhill tyres, so these require the whole pouch. So there we go, on a mountain bike we want between 25 and 35 psi, obviously if you're a dirt jumper you probably might want to go a bit higher, if you're riding in wet conditions you might want to go lower. Finish it off, valve cap on, insert it in the back wheel, there you go, and once you've inserted it, just want to give it a little spin, and make sure the sealant is going round. 